Hey guys, welcome to this video. Today we're going to be talking about the F1 2021 liveries. So, let's not waste any more time, and let's get started with this video. Let's start off with the German manufacturer Mercedes. Of course, Mercedes has stuck to their original black livery that they had last season, which this livery looks absolutely astonishing. With this year's car, there's a few differences compared to the W11. Let's take a look. As you can see, there's more Patronus Green and Ineos Red than last year's machine. There's also a lot more silver at the back, reflecting the AMG stickers instead of the Mercedes symbols. Overall, I quite like the Mercedes, so I'm excited to see it on the track. Let's move on to Red Bull. There's pretty much not much to say about this livery. It's almost exactly the same as last year, as it has been since basically 2018. I think the noticeable differences you can see right now is the Honda stickering replacing the Aston Martin stickers, uh, basically on the front and at the back. You can also see Sergio Perez's personal sponsors on the car as well. Alright, moving on to McLaren, and I gotta be real with you guys here, I'm not a big fan of the McLaren livery. It's a great livery, but I'm kinda just bored of the same exact livery. It's no difference. The only difference is the little blue nose at the front, and that's pretty much it. I'm a little disappointed to be honest. I wish McLaren went for more of like an orange and silver instead of an orange and blue, kinda reflecting the days they had with Mercedes in the late 90s and 2000s. Alas, that's what we get. McLaren's livery is still pretty cool, and I'm still gonna be supporting them throughout the season. Moving on to Aston Martin, and here we are guys, this is my favorite livery on the 2021 grid, and I think a lot of people can agree with me, because it's just so incredibly deep of that Aston Martin history. I just love a good green livery, and that's exactly what Aston Martin have done here. They've gone and done a beautiful, beautiful green livery. The color of it just looks like a racing car. So the car is mostly green with the white sponsors. It's also got pink strokes everywhere, representing BWT as a sponsor. At first I wasn't a big fan of the pink, I wish they did a lime green, but now I quite like the pink, it goes well with this livery. So I can't wait to see this car out on track. Alright, moving on to Alpine F1 team. Now of course, you all know this team was Renault in the 2020 season. They've rebranded as Alpine and they have an entirely new livery which of course is a fan favorite as well. This is a beautiful livery. The blue is an entirely different blue to what I was expecting and I think it just shows what Alpine can do in the 2021 season. They got an entirely new look which is going to push them further and further on the grid. More fans will come into this, I do believe. Uh, it's just an incredible, beautiful, beautiful livery. That's the word I can describe this livery by. Ferrari. They're the most recent team to release their livery, so let's see what the Scuderia have come up with. Ferrari's car is basically the same livery as last car, which we assumed that, but I wasn't predicting what was going to happen at the back. Ferrari have gone for more of a darker red at the back, and the noticeable difference that you can see is the green M standing for Mission Winnow. In my opinion, I feel this livery is a combination between the Ferrari SF1000 and the special one-off livery they had at Mugello. I quite like the Ferrari. I think I'm still going back and forth on it, but I think I would like to see like an Italian flag at the back instead of the green M, or maybe the green M being white, but I still can't wait to see this car on track. We come to these guys now, AlphaTauri, who are based in Fianza, Italy. Now, this team is very incredible. They've had a very remarkable season last season, picking up a win at the Italian Grand Prix. And I think their livery speaks for itself. It's a very, very unique livery. The livery is actually a complete swap of their last year's livery. And I think it looks absolutely incredible. The dark blue in the top really just shows that it's a true F1 car. So I think the AT02 really speaks for itself, showing that AlphaTauri are ready for more success in 2021. So I can't wait to see this car on track. Moving on to Alfa Romeo, and I gotta say, Alfa Romeo's livery is really cool. They've almost done the same thing that Alfa Tari has done, and they've reversed their livery. It just looks really strong. It looks like Alfa Romeo are ready for something big. The white on the top and the red on the bottom. It just looks really remarkable how they put those two together, and the color scheme just works well as well. So I'm really excited to see what Alfa Romeo can do on track when it comes to their pace, and it's gonna be exciting to see that livery on the circuit. Haas now, let's talk about these guys. Haas's design is pretty different from their previous liveries. So let's take a look and see what they've got. I like this livery a lot. I think it's pretty cool that they put in a lot more white into the car. It kind of brings out the Haas logos. There's a straight up Russian flag which makes it really cool as well with that color scheme. I am really excited to see what Haas can do in 2021. It sounds like their season's not going to go very well, but I'm excited to see this livery on track. And the final team, Williams Racing. Let's take a look at the Williams design and see what this British team has come up with. 
Personally, I quite like this livery. I like the colors they went for and the pattern as well, so in my mind, it fits. Every other team is somewhat similar to their original car, except of course the rebranded teams, but this car is completely different to their original design. A lot more blue, barely any white, which is really interesting. There's even a bit of gold there, which Williams don't do that often. With this livery, I feel like they were going for a similar look from their 1990s Williams cars. In my eyes, I see Williams' new car as a new step forward for the team. It shows us that Williams are committed to F1, and hopefully, with this car, they'll start the process of rebuilding the team. So that's my thoughts on the 2021 liveries, but what was your opinion? What was your favorite livery out of the 10 teams? Let me know in the comments below.